Croiso and welcome to Avalon. This is one of our famous apple orchards that dot the landscape here. My name is B. Helligan. I am a priestess of Avalon. I am a priestess of Caridwen. I love working with Goddess. She is my joy. She is my comfort. I turn to her whenever things get tough. Five years ago, I started coming to Glastonbury and I fell in love with the Goddess Temple and the Goddess Community. Four years ago, I started my own training here to become a priestess. It takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of physical endeavor to be a priestess here in Avalon. When I first finished my training, I felt called to create the training to become a priestess of Caridwen. Caridwen is the dark mother in the Wheel of Avalon, the dark goddess at Sawain. She holds us when we are in the deepest and darkest times of our life. She holds us when things are seriously going wrong for us personally or our loved ones or our friends and the people all around us. Training to be one of her priestesses often means that you become her embodiment. Your priestess self is the vessel for goddess in this world. Through you, she acts and through you, she speaks to those who are seeking her counsel. In Goddess House, we have an amazing wall mural by Susie Goose Edwards. It was a gift from this very talented painter. She came to Goddess House when I had just finished the room dedicated to Caridwen and she offered to paint us the most amazing war painting. In it you see Caridwen standing over her cauldron. You can't see her face, it is hidden from you, but you can feel her presence because Goddess shows you the face that you're meant to see. I, many years ago, trained as what we call an end-of-life companion. It means that I used to sit with people who were dying, people and their families who had to face that this was the end. I loved doing that. It was an amazing service to perform for people. It is a hard service, it's not for everyone, and neither is the priesthood of Caridwen training. We do something called sacred listening, or Kariat Enayit, soul alliance with people who come to us to talk about the hardest times in their lives, whether these include childhood abuse, sexual abuse, women who have been raped, women who have been beaten, who have been mentally abused. We hold them. We create a sacred space. Many of us are counselors in our normal life, but it's about holding space. It's about allowing them to speak when they're ready to speak, to cry, to scream, to release all of that pent-up emotional pain in their body. Here in Avalon, we firmly believe that if you are in emotional pain, if your soul has been hurt, eventually, if you keep on repressing that kind of pain, it will manifest somewhere in your body often as severe illnesses, depression, sometimes even as far as cancer. If you are allowed to speak about these things, you feel safe. If you feel that someone is actually witnessing you and listening to you, 
you can release all of that. And then you can move on with your life after you have really dealt with what the issue was. Our priestesses are trained to hold that. She's also there for women who have lost their children, whether that was still in the womb through miscarriage or abortion, or whether that is later in life. She feels the pain that mothers feel when the children are hurting. In her story, it is her son who was born as one of the most ugliest creatures on this world. And she had to witness how he was treated by others because he looked differently. The whole story is about her journey, trying to make things better for him. And in the process, she learns that we cannot walk someone else's path for them. But what we can do is be there for them when they need someone to talk to, when they need comforting. And she teaches us that. She teaches our priestesses and priests to sit and listen to the families of the ones who are suffering. But Caridwin is also one of the longest and happiest married goddesses in the Welsh mythology. She and her long-term husband, Teged Boyle, are ancient goddesses and gods, going back as far as we can remember. They are said to live near Bala in North Wales at Llyn Teged, one of the most beautiful natural landscapes in Britain. The lake itself is from the Ice Age, and for as long as it has been there, the stories of Caridwen and Teget have been told. He is a warrior, a guardian of the realm. She is the one that rules the realm of the dead. Where you go and dive into her cauldron, where you are held, where you release all the pain from this life, and then wait to be reborn into the next. So part of the training will be here in Avalon, but at the end of the training, we will be traveling for a retreat to Lake Bala, where we will meet her, where she will challenge us, where she will test our mettle, because being a priestess or priest of Caridwen is not to be taken lightly. Caridwen often sends our trainees their own challenges. You need to be ready to face what is painful in your own world, in your own life. You need to deal with all of the shadow that lives in your heart and in your mind. You need to let go of all of that in order to serve others when their time of difficulty comes. It makes you stronger. It makes you more compassionate. It makes you more caring. And being part of a very strong circle of priestesses and priests is a true joy in this life. Working together in unison, in harmony, in balance, knowing that there's someone at the end of the phone to hold you when you yourself are going through tough times. That is what it means to be part of a priestessing community. We here hold space for everyone that comes here to Avalon. It is one of the greatest joys in life to become a priestess or priest. But make no mistake, it is also sometimes one of the most difficult things in life. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a princess sitting in a beautiful clothes somewhere in a beautiful place in the world. Being a priestess is hard work, long hours. If this path is for you, 
If you truly wish to serve, if you're not afraid to look at your own shadows, if you're ready to develop psychically, then come and join us here in Avalon. Come and join the sisters and brothers that serve the dark goddess Caridwen.